Yo, what's going on guys? It's me, Manpi, and I'm here with a 27.1 tier list of legendary DPS units. I want to state, so it's obvious for everyone, and it's 100% only prediction of my own, and it is based on my experience and knowledge, and it is only and solely based on information given in the news on official discords to public. It is not a, some mysterious knowledge of mine or given information to content creators. It is only and solely on those three things. So let's jump into it. All right, so let's start with Bruiser. I will uh, go from left to right. So we'll start with Bruiser, ending up with Tesla. And uh, we have, of course, five tiers. I don't want to add any other tier uh, additional. Don't want to name them. Uh, I'll just try to explain my thought process and uh, why such unit is in such tier. Uh, hopefully you guys know it. Uh, please, it is not 100% uh, confirmed. It is only and solely my predictions, as like I said a few seconds ago. All right, so starting with Bruiser, I think the 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 best version of bruiser right now is of course with fortuna and most of the decks uh, uses fortuna at the very high level the, the highest level uh, of the competitiveness um so yeah it's not like bruiser with mari bruiser with zeus bruiser with i don't know trickster whatever hero i will ba uh, base them on the best variation of deck uh, is possible in in the in the game all right so with bruiser i think bruiser with fortuna i saw biscuit uh, saying that he hits with this variation of the deck seven minutes 30 of course i know that uh, biscuit has pretty much a max uh, maxed account uh, with very good equipment with very good uh, knowledge of how bruiser works of its flaws as well uh, i don't think it's going to be the highest the best deck uh, that there is but of course there is also a ver variation of bruiser with a necromancer and uh, so i keep it in mind i think bruiser deserves to have a spot in a tier if needed later on uh, i will be moving him up or down uh, if i decide so basically <clears throat> all right next we have bard bard is, bard is not touched since the release it, not, it has not been buffed or nerfed and additionally he already was doing really good in, in the current version and previous versions it was just more uh, that Genie Sultan or uh, Blade Dancer Blooming Dash with both with Fortuna were just doing much better uh, than Bart right now both Blade Dancer and Genie Sultan are getting nerfed and uh, Genie, Genie Sultan is getting nerfed quite a, quite a lot uh, where BD uh, ever so slightly, I would say, uh, but not nevertheless. Uh, I think Bard. Uh, I tested a drummer. I I'm pretty experienced with um, accordionist. I know that Bard with maxed account is able to hit at least eight minutes, maybe with even more with maxed Fortuna. I didn't didn't test that because I don't have Max Fortuna yet. Uh, but I think Bard deserves to be an S tier once again uh, just because it has not been nerfed not been buffed uh, it's just as it is uh, since the release I think developers just think that it's a um, pretty balanced unit I don't know I know that it's uh, very weak against toxic but uh, about toxic I will uh, talk a bit later on uh, so yeah I think Bart deserves to have a spot in S tier uh, if it's going to be the best deck, you have to wait for my opinion on other DPS units um, later on. Alright, uh, next we have Minotaur. Minotaur uh, as a toxic variation deck uh, with Necromancer. I think with both Witch and Frost getting nerfed. I don't think Minotaur is going to be very, very good. Uh, the, like toxic unit or DPS unit, legendary DPS unit um but still uh it can end the games in 
uh, wave one in first seconds because of the stun, because of the summoner spam, and because of the frost uh, speeding up the monsters, and which healing the monsters as well and necromancer as well. Uh, so I would put him in B tier. I would say, and uh, the toxic nerf didn't hit him that hard as it hit C Doc. Uh, I would say, or for example, uh, Boreas. Uh, I would say. Just because a uh, Minotaur has its own toxicity in talents, so that's why I'm putting him in B tier for now. All right, uh, Spirit Master, and that's my I would say wildest prediction. Uh, just because um, I have very good experience playing against it um, as Bard, so. The matchup was me playing Bard against Spirit Master and Necromancer because that's the, I think, the highest win rate possible. Uh, I know that there is also variation in playing Spirit Master with Fortuna, of course, that can go up to or above even 8 minutes. Uh, but I think Spirit Master uh, with Necromancer is just much more um, common, much more famous, um, whatever word you want to use, just more people play it and this can go up to 7 minutes with Crystal Monster, with Necromancer, uh, but of course Crystal Monster is also getting slightly nerfed, so maybe it's not going to be up to 7 minutes, but playing against Necromancer, uh, not every dps unit can go up to seven minutes or even above so that's the complication uh, that is with uh, facing uh, necromancer spirit master so that's why that's my wildest prediction i think this is going to be top tier deck a uh, little spoiler i think it's going to be the top one deck played um, in 27.1 until uh, something happens like a uh, nerf of a uh, Necromancer or Spirit Master or whatever else uh, this deck uses. Uh, I just, it, whenever I match Spirit Master or Necromancer against Bard, Fortuna or Zeus, if it's Drummer, a Drummer doesn't have any competition against uh, Necromancer, of course, but uh, overall, Bard is just very hard to win <clears throat> just because of the constant healing from the Necromancer from its tiles. Uh, so yeah, I would say I would put Spirit Master and Necromancer above Bard, of course. All right, jumping next, uh, we have Trent. Um, Trent has been hit very hard. Uh, I'm not entirely sure why. For example, why Bard has not been nerfed and Trent has been nerfed is so hard, in my opinion, not justified, but it is what it is. Uh, I would say Trent is somewhere above Minotaur, below Bruiser right now, uh, just because the Witch nerf hit uh, Trent really hard, just because Trent cannot maintain tier 7 Witches without any faction league bonuses of course, um, so it loses a lot of the damage, right? Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not entirely sure where to put him, I put him in B tier above Minotaur below Bruiser for now, just because Bruiser does better with Fortuna for now, especially if you know how to play it, uh, but it is what it is. Alright, next we have Bloom, uh, Blade Dancer, and I think the Blooming Dash is the best version um, currently, and even though it is being nerfed, I wouldn't say it is like nerfed like Genie. Uh, I would say it still deserves like a spot on A tier, uh, maybe slightly above Bruiser, but there is a possibility that everyone will just drop it, right? Uh, because we have to think and uh, how and why Blooming Dodge became so popular. It became popular just because of the toxic meta to counter it, right? Because of the 50% cleanse. Uh, up to five blade dancers, you could cleanse five blade dancers in, in just one move with Gunslinger. Uh, so that is why it became so popular. But it also was a very good a um, DPS unit overall. Um, not sure if it can go up to eight minutes uh, still after the ner after the nerf, but. Yeah, I would say put it in A for now. Maybe maybe I can change it in, in, in later on. 
All right, we have Genie Ifrit, the red genie. Um, very good counter, very solid counter to Toxic Dex, but Toxic Dex um, are getting nerfed. Um, overall, it's going up to like five minutes, six minutes. Maybe if you're a very well experienced Genie Ifrit player, you can go up to seven minutes or even above with Max Fortuna, very high item, of course. But I just don't think it's, uh, it's that great, you know? Uh, so I would put it in B tier. It's, it's similar level with, with Chant for now, in my um, in my opinion. All right, next we have uh, Riding Hood. I know that some Riding Hood players can go up to seven minutes or slightly above, uh, but it is very difficult difficult unit. Not many players can can actually play it and know how to play it and uh, how to explicit. it. Uh, so basically. Um, it's, it's very hard for me to, to rate it. I would say also somewhere between B tier or A tier. I would put it in A tier for now because I know that it can beat Genie Ifrit and Trent. But I'm not entirely sure if it can go uh, above Bruiser. Uh, so I'll put it here all for now. Alright, Meteor. Uh, this unit is just that. Um, after the Death Wave, not many players. Sorry, it's me. Uh, not many players uh, know how to play it uh, and on the other side uh, if they know then it's only like three or four minutes into the death wave it's nothing crazy uh, some people at 3000 crit are reaching uh, four minutes into the death wave so yeah that that is that uh, boreas boreas is again dead after the toxic nerf uh, i just don't think this unit uh, can go well as a dps it it it, it went only a good uh as a toxic unit um but now yeah now it's nerfed so i wouldn't say it, it's good all right we have a banshee banshee coven um uh, banshee coven has not been hit that much and now with a toxic nerf i think it's pretty solid i know that it can go up to seven minutes 30. uh i did it many many other content creators all players on the leaderboard also did it and so I would put it above Riding Hood uh, for now. Um, I would put it in the same tier as Blooming Dash, Blade Dancer and Bruiser. I think it's the same, same similar level uh, as those units. So yeah, uh, and it's pretty solid. You can play it with Zeus if you feel, uh, if you are feeling lucky enough to, to get your counter spells working. And uh, you can play it with Mermaid, you can play it with Fortuna even if you want. Um, so yeah, that's that. Sword DPS, Sword DPS, pretty solid. I think can reach seven minutes, six minutes, like six minutes thirty. Uh, maybe if you are very lucky with Blue Swords, maybe seven minutes. Uh, but uh, nevertheless, I'm putting it B tier just because it's just not reliable. Like uh, you can get really bad RNG, summoning only Red Swords, copying only Red Swords, and then your whole damage is dropping. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm just I don't know. Uh, don't like it. I know that against Necro it also will uh, most likely be very bad just because if you don't get any Zeus tiles because it is played with Zeus mostly. Um, if you don't get any Zeus tiles inside uh, then you are just basically screwed. So uh, yeah that's that. Uh, next Banshee Solitude right? No wait. Banshee Coven. This is Solitude. This is Coven. All right sorry my bad. Uh, ba Banshee Coven. Um, Banshee Coven was played only because of the uh, to, to counter Toxic decks. Now uh, Toxic decks are pretty much dead, um, so I'm not sure. Like, sure it can reach six minutes, maybe even seven minutes. I tested it as well, um, but is it that good? I would put it in like somewhere like all those four units are pretty much the same like sword dps banshee coven uh genie ifrit and trent are pretty much on the same level in my opinion um i just don't treat them very competitive uh, at this meta so yeah and uh, speaking about being similar there is cultist uh cultist is pretty much the same like i, I swear uh whenever i face cultist it's always mage ropes it's always a toxic summoner and toxic sword uh, plus of course snowflake uh, freezing up your units so only only and because of that uh, from my experience playing against those players playing those a uh, combination of toxic uh, treats threats whatever 
um, that they can go up to like five six minutes while messing up your board and messing up your mana whatever and uh, so I'm, I, will, I would put it in B tier uh, all right inquisitor dark inquisitor or light inquisitor um i think it's pretty similar light inquisitor can hit seven minutes six, six minutes 30 maybe seven minutes right and uh, dark inquisitor can also reach like six minutes going full account full best equipment whatever uh but it's just not that great uh i would put in your c tier i just don't see it being great um maybe maybe that's my wild prediction maybe clock will come back since the genie nerf and all of the top units except banshee of course are using a attack speed right bard um spirit master blade dancer and uh, bruiser and even riding hood so maybe there will be a rise of a uh, clock coming back and to the meta but for now i'm not entirely sure i didn't test it so i have no idea uh, if it's going to work or if it's going to be any good uh, but for now i'm putting inquisitor in c tier i hope everyone understand it uh, then we have robot i would put it in similar tier as as inquisitor maybe slightly above um, and why i'm putting it here because if you if you pair it with Necromancer, it's pretty similar to uh, Minotaur. It can win games in in first waves, but it can not go very high to the death wave. I don't think it can reach death wave as a toxic unit. As a DPS unit, it's dead. Uh, its talents uh, just don't does do, do, do not allow him to to be a DPS unit. Uh, in my opinion, Robot is just old-fashioned uh, unit. Uh, and it requires some sort of uh, rework uh, because yeah it's just not good and uh, Sidok, Sidok, i would also put it in like maybe b tier next to minotaur uh, just because the witch witch nerf wait was it the witch nerf no it was frost nerf yeah it was a fine i think witch nerf and frost nerf or whatever something like that uh, i just don't think the nerf nerfing these units just killed toxic um don't be, don't get me wrong i'm happy about it uh, i'm very very happy about it because now you could play actually lots and lots of other units if the toxic is not around so i'm very happy about it finally we get the toxic nerf and uh, so yeah that's, that's that uh, all right monk 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 uh, hmm. monk after the j nerf is uh, not played that much but also it can be played at the higher level with fortuna or zeus uh up to like six seven minutes so i would put it in like next to next to those units like the b tier is is very similar to me i just don't think those units can be competitive at the highest level in 27.1 so yeah uh, whenever i i feel like they are not going to be competitive at the highest level at the leaderboard uh, I'm just gonna put it in B tier, uh, unless I think they are even worse, so I'm gonna put it in C or D tier. Uh, Genie Sultan, Genie Sultan, I, I, I would say it deserves a spot to be in A tier, but it's not going to be better than those units in my prediction, uh, just because Genie, um, Genie got, Sultan got hit pretty hard, now um, whenever you don't summon or keep the second Sultan, uh, and you just scrap it for extra stacks then the random uh, random genie on your uh, on your board is going to become a sultan so yeah you would have to keep tier one sul uh, tier one genies all the time which is not efficient right so yeah I, but i still think it's going to be decent right to keep the two sultans I play with Gunslinger and Trapper for extra damage, so maybe it can go up to 7 minutes. Um, yeah, I would have to test it, but unfortunately we don't have a test server for 27.1 because it's not a major update uh, in, in their opinion, so yeah. And next we have Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter, I would say, is the best B tier unit that can be here. Um, just solely my experience of what I'm playing against. It can be played with pretty much uh, every hero, maybe except a, a Necromancer because it doesn't have attack speed. Uh, but overall, 
like solid unit nothing's nothing special right all right and then we have a tesla tesla that i'm not good at uh, but from experience of watching other people play it or facing other tesla players i know that tesla can be good i would say something similar to banshee and uh, riding hood level um yeah basically pretty solid unit uh only few people can play it actually to the highest level um unfortunately it's not me i just don't understand the unit yet maybe i'll learn someday uh but yeah that would be my tier list for 27.1 of legendary dps units hopefully you guys understood the assignment of what i said at the beginning of the video that it is based uh, solely on my predictions on 27.1 on the information given in the news publicly not to only content creators and also uh, it is based on the best variation of the deck of these legendary dps units All right hopefully you guys liked it hopefully you guys enjoyed watching me talking uh, for 20 minutes about a uh, rush real uh, tier list and uh, yeah See you guys tomorrow.